All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're we're going to do is we're going to start implementing the main features. So, uh, spe especially so specifically, we're going to implement as always our authentication system. All right, let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, so let's say the first thing first. What we want to do here is let's create a new app. Uh, and we can call it uh, authentication. So it's just going to be a standard authentication, have basic login, logout, register route, all these basic stuff. But I think what will be fun is I think we're going to automatically stop uh, two similar registration from the same IP address. So that will be fun. Um, okay. So to avoid spamming or something like that. All right, let's uh, go ahead and register on our settings. Where else? There we go. All right. Go syndication, create file called URL, stop high. Dot import views. URL patterns. Press that. All right. So, uh, how register works is that we're going to have a register route as always and I don't think we need to create any sort of a custom model here because it really um, we could go to micro worker and actually take a look if you click on register I can see oh oh there's quite a few that we want um Let's see. Oh, interesting. All right. So I don't think we're going to do this much of a stuff. So I think what we're going to do is we're not going to ask them to provide their address. We just want the maybe the first part. I don't even know. I don't think we want birthday, so okay. Just go here. And in here we'll say request the method parander request authentication sash register.html. Go dot um, contra dot models import user. Okay, so now after we got user setups, and here we're going to say uh, first name is request dot post. Last name. Email, password. That's really it, essentially. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, username will be automatically generated. And yes, we will have a, a email verification part too. Okay, so now here, let's go here and let's go say pass. Um, Register views dot register. All right. So now let's go create the templates. All right. 
All right, let's go get the bootstrap out of the way. All right, let's copy started templates for a new file. Let's call this base.html. All right, shortness sweet, good. Okay. So now in here we'll say div.container block main and block. It's always going to do a template inheritance here, so I don't have to write too much redundant code. Uh, same thing here too. All right, great. So let's go to register. We're on the extended templates. Let's provide the information needed, which is log main. Uh, what did I done? There we go. All right. So then here, let's say h1 register. All right, as always, let's get a form. Uh, let's see what form to go on this time. Uh, I think this one works. Yeah. We're not going to, obviously, we're not going to do address verification because that's way too complex. I'm not sure why do we need to do that. Uh, email password. Uh, okay, so in here, uh, your email is please use email address that's associated to your PayPal account. You don't have a PayPal account. Sign up here. And now we're going to do href. They must have a PayPal account in order to get paid. You must have a PayPal account in order to get paid. All right. Let's just say uh, to paypal.com slash uh, oof, um, PayPal sign up link. Let's go here, I guess. Let's go take a look. Okay. Let's see right here. Right there. All right. That's good. Okay. Good. Password is there. Um, okay, let's do a first name, last name. Actually, right before we do that, I uh, just want to make sure. Let's add it. Name. All right. Oh, all right. So in here we'll say first name. First name. Last name. Yeah, I think we're going to implement the ability that's so the user can only have one account from one IP address. That's kind of stupid, but I mean, I guess we can also try something out here. Okay. Last name. Uh, last. Last. 
last name. Alrighty. Now, what else? Uh, we got pass email address, password, first name, last name. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's what everything we got here. Good. All right. As always, the message will be post, and we'll of course include our unforgettable CSRF token. All right. Great. So let's go run the app and see what we got. Oh, I still haven't applied my equations yet. I think I'll do that right now. There we go. Now it won't say stupid errors. All right, I can say slash os slash register. All right. Let's also display their IP address. Let's see, get IP address Django. Make sure that uh, that's three point zero. All right, uh, just for the heck of it, let's try to print it out. See if we can get the IP address. Um, okay, fine. I don't think I need PayPal anywhere for this actress that we're doing. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's not what we want. Um, ooh. Okay, um, well, that's bad. It doesn't. Why remote address Django give me? I mean, I'm using local host right now. I'm just want to make sure. Yeah, I have no clue how it works, but. I was trying to try it once, yeah, it doesn't happen. Okay, I think I'll work on it later. Uh, I'll figure out how to do the IP ban maybe. Okay, yeah, also another thing to make sure it works in production server so that it actually works. Or another way I can do it is send it from the front end. Um, yeah. That's something that we can do, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and say, okay, actually, let's just see if we can get IP address in JavaScript. Oh my god, that's...
All right. Uh, let's try this out, see if this works. Because uh, I want to get this IP thing figured out. We already did a lot of these register, you know, register, login, logout stuff. So this is not exciting. But IP ban, that's, that's exciting. I'm supposed to blur my IP address out, right? See, I'm really bad at security. <laughs> I don't even know how can I get this far without somebody already hacked into my computer. All right. Anywho, it's time to do this. Okay. All right. So assume everything worked out. I will blur IP address. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay, so that's my IP address right there. Okay, let me comment it out. So we are able to get it. That's good. All right. So now, let's go ahead and uh, you must have a PayPal account. Okay, good. So now in here, we can create a little tiny box. So then in here we can say your IP address. Uh, label for IP, IP, IP. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Uh, IP help. All right, let's put it into here. IP help. It's your IP address. Note that we only allow one account. One account to sign up one IP address. All right. And of course, and here I want to say disabled. All right, so now I want to say this. All right, so after we Hope this friend is still my data right there. Documents dot get element ID IP dot value equals to You know what? Let's do this. What do you mean? What do, what do you expect? What? Am I stupid on JavaScript now? Oh, I forgot to delete a parenthesis. All right. Get element ID IP value. Oh shoot, I need to know what actually is. You want to here. All right, document. Okay. Oh no, come on. Okay. All right, so let's say document get element ID IP value equals to rest actually. All right, let's refresh our page. That's my IP address indeed there. All right. Um, okay, I didn't disable it though. Ooh, 
No, disable Um, I deleted disable accidentally. Disabled. There we go. Now you cannot change your IP address. All right. Well, this can also be called Siri. That's a blur the information the out the most. Okay, email address, password, first name, last name. All right, even more something to blur out now. Good. Okay, perfect. So I think that will be it for this video. We didn't get too much done, but I think we did quite a well, quite a few things done. Uh, ne uh in next video, we'll set up an entire syndication system. So basically, how it would work is that in case there are some people who knows how this like JavaScript works, um, so, or just generate channel works, we don't want to send it to the backend because what we want to do is once this page load, we immediately send it to the backend, store in a session, and then double check it against our rule basically. So we want to store in a session like immediately. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's my plan for the next video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, have a smash the like button, subscribe button. Yeah, please do so. And uh, as always, stay safe and have a great rest for day. That was me. Out.